I should be writing number 430. Well, I should be writing. I should be working on my Hi there. Welcome to I Should Be Writing, the podcast for wannabe fiction writers. I'm your host, Mer. And today's going to be a short episode because it's the end of the day and I've actually had a pretty full and productive day, just have only been able to sit down in front of the mic now. But I do have a question, thank goodness. Malin writes, how do I keep writing when I get turned down again and again by publishers and my confidence is dropping? I've gotten rejected, try to tell myself that maybe it was a bad time to contact, it's hard to publish fantasy books in my country, I try to tell myself this book may not suit them, but maybe something else will, and also try to think about how hard it is to get published. But even though I have to, even though I try to have zero hope of being published, I still, my, still find myself so very utterly sad every time I get a no. I've been sending out these stupid books for two years, getting no's once in a while, and every time my confidence drops and I can't write anything at all. Every other project I have also sucks, I suck, everything sucks, and so on. How do I find the confidence to keep writing? How do I push through? And, I think the most important question here, how do I leave this book of blood, sweat, tears, and several years of working on it behind me? My friends are trying to tell me that I, I learned from this experience and my writing will evolve, but since I only get standard replies, I don't know what I did wrong. I feel stuck. So, this is a very real problem. I will fully embrace the problem and agree and say that's it sucks and I'm sorry. Um, we've all felt it. Most of us, anyway. And those who haven't felt it, well, either they're lying or you are allowed to kick them. Here's the thing that I try to think about. Working writers get rejected. So you are a working writer. You are doing more than people who don't send out their stuff. And that may be small comfort, but you're taking the first step. You want to know how to get how to keep going for that second step, which unfortunately requires input from somebody else. So don't quit. Your chances of being published if you quit go to zero. Your chances of being published if you don't quit are higher than zero. So go with the one that's higher than zero and keep working. How do you... Okay, there's a, 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 a thing. <clears throat> there is a mindset among salespeople that you should try for a hundred no's before lunch. You get a hundred rejections before lunch. Because if you get a hundred rejections, that means you've tried a hundred times and your odds of getting an acceptance, a yes, a sale, go way up if you're working that hard to collect your rejections. Stephen King had a nail on his wall where he would put, hang all of his rejections back in the day when rejections were paper. So you need to change your mindset a little bit and see the rejection as a badge of honor that you're doing the work of a working writer. That requires a mindset change, but do a web search, see how many of your favorite authors talk about how much they were rejected. I guarantee it's a lot. And the big question of how you keep going if you decide that the book you're working on is not the book that's going to sell. Again, look to your favorite authors. A lot of people did not sell their first books. You're not alone. Some people who did sell their first books wish they hadn't because they got so much better later on. I can promise you, you probably will not improve if you keep toying with this book. You will just grow to hate it. I have a piece that agents have tried to sell and sell and sell, and they keep trying. I say keep as if it's present tense. This is not happening anymore. But they kept trying to tell me to edit it in this way or that way, and I just got so sick of the thing. I never want to touch it again. How can you leave it behind you? 
you trunk it. it. You're not throwing it away. You just put it aside and start something new. It's, I know it's awful to say it's a learning experience, but it's true. It is a learning experience. You learned a lot. You learned how to start a book and finish a book. And do you know how many people have not done that and they wanted to? So I think you should put the book away and start something new. I think you need to get a different group of um, beta readers. I think maybe you should join a workshop. If you can't find one in your area, there are several online workshops you can get. That might get you some opinions from people who will not try to save your feelings. Because when they don't save your feelings, they actually give you useful information. And, you know, accept the fact that it sucks. I validate the fact that it sucks. And I'm very sorry. Because it sucks and it hurts. And it's, you're learning how to box and you got hit in the face and fell down. And you got to remember, well, either I can lie here or I can get back up. And if it hurts a lot, then you can lie there for a little while. I am I am fully in favor of not, uh, of giving yourself grieving time. Because the times I have not allowed myself to grieve after disappointments... I, the, the feelings have kind of festered. But if I say, okay, I got a rejection. I'm going to sit here tonight and feel sorry for myself and do something nice for myself. And tomorrow I go back to work. That helps me get over things a lot faster if I accept that I need to grieve and I do the grieving and it's done. So think about that. Have you given yourself a day to just go, you know what? This sucks. I hate everything. I'm going to get myself something decadent to eat or drink. I'm going to sit in front of a f computer game or a TV or whatever is your vice. And I'm just going to feel sorry for myself. But then the deal is, is that if you allow yourself to do that, you have to get back to work tomorrow. But I think the answer for you is to join a workshop. So look online. Um, online Writers Workshop does science fiction and fantasy. I recommend it. And, uh, yeah. And, you know, write if you, if you need another bit of encouragement. Because sometimes the encouragement is, is what keeps us going. I think you can do it. But if you quit, you definitely won't. That's really all there is to it. And this has been I Should Be Writing. And it's Friday night, and I would like to relax. So I'm gonna head off Merverse.com, MightyMer at gmail.com, and Twitter.com slash MightyMer. Patreon.com slash MightyMer. And uh, I think that's it. That's all the ways to get me, to find me. And I'll talk to you next Monday. Until then, you should be writing. Remember, you can support the show at Patreon.com slash MightyMer. I should be writing theme music provided by John Emilio. You can find more about him at johnemilio.com. This podcast is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. But I should.